Hello, hello, hello. What's up, everybody? This is Mike Worth, and uh, we are streaming today, and we are in real life. So, what's up, everybody? We are in the studio here today, and uh, I am Mike Worth. We are working on this big old cactus, and uh, I'm trying my hardest to get this to be in the space that y'all can see what we're doing. Sorry, we got that that wire hang in there. But um, yeah, today we're, we're in the studio. <clears throat> we are absolutely uh, working on this cactus right now. And uh, I'm gonna be using these dauber bottles. So y'all can see here, I'll put a flash them on the big camera. Here are the dauber bottles. So these are acrylic inks and I mixed them up. <laughs> but these are like uh, bottles that you get to do like scrapbooking or like uh, bingo uh, uh, stuff it's yeah <laughs> so here check it out check it out you got this going on here on the tip it's like this nice broad tip and you can just whoosh, flow with it like all day all day so what's up everybody Mike Worth here good morning coming to you live this is my weekly stream we are going IRL today like for real for real we've been on the iPad lately and um, yeah that's been good but y'all jump in the chat say a quick hello show some love um, we're going to be getting into this today. I've already laid this down um, with spray paint and with, uh, with other things. So here, we'll get it out of the flash. You can see what we were dealing with here. Sorry for all the shadows. Um, so I'm not going to do this today upright. Uh, normally, I would paint this upright, but the reason I can't is because I'm painting on this nice surface that's really like, you know, well finished and everything. And this is acrylic ink. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to run. It's just going to bloop down the whole jam. So we're going to not risk it you know we're gonna keep it cool so i'm gonna work on this flat but i have to just apologize you know in advance for the flash like the the, the uh, reflection that you see in there so i painted this canvas with spray paint um, did a flow field on here with another dauber bottle and then now i'm uh, and then i painted the the background of the the cactus itself and then now what i'm going to do is i'm going to come in and i'm going to use th these guys and i'm going to lay out like all this fun stuff we're gonna like shape out this saguaro cactus so yeah let's let's do it let's get into it what's up what's up everybody hope everybody's doing all right this morning welcome 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 we are in the studio today IRL okay really excited <clears throat> and uh, this is my colorway so I'm gonna be using today let's get it in order yeah there we go okay all right so this is gonna be our colorway and we're gonna do it uh, left to right. So we're gonna take the, this side of the, the cactus and we're gonna swing it over. Here, we gotta move this out of the way. We got so much shadow today. Oy, 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 with the shadow, Mike. All right, and as you can see, we're in, the, we're in the studio where there's lots of paint and lots of stuff and everything going on here. So it's not all, not all digital all day, y'all. It's, uh, this, is, this is gonna be great. Okay, so, um, the first and, and foremost thing that I really like to do is to make sure that um, I'm identifying like the areas that are going to be bright and strong. So here, I need a little, I need a little scrap, something here to just test my pen just to make sure it works. Yeah, cool. All right, this is like a real neon green, which will be great. All right, so we're going to do, do like this. So you see, the, this, uh, this pen leaves like a really nice chunky mark. It's, it's really like, it's akin to the spray paint and what I've got going on with the spray paint, which is really great. So, all right, what I'm doing here is I'm setting up these hot spots and these hot spots are gonna be what we use uh, to help create like a lighting scenario. So the whole point of this is to use pattern and like color of pattern to establish this, this lighting here. Here, I'll slide this out so y'all can see. Here we go. And uh, not ideal today. Sorry, it's like, you know, <laughs> we're learning how to do this, y'all. Just got started with the streaming and uh, excited to bring y'all into the studio. And the equipment will get better. This is like the first episode of The Simpsons. You know, it's, it's going to be terrible. It needs to be awful for it to later be good, right? That's the... That's the jam here. So, all right. So what I'm doing here is I'm getting in this uh, this green, and I'm using this green now. I'm going to lay a pattern across this whole space, and I'm using this green just to kind of get it started. 
I'll do the same thing here. You know, I'm, I'm doing these kind of undulating patterns that flow. These are my flow fields. This is how I do them in real life. And uh, yeah, just getting them, getting them laid down. That's, that's the important thing. And this is going to give us uh, dimension, right? In fact, I've actually done maybe too much already. This isn't a very big canvas, but yeah, it's, it's good. It's coming together. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So what's up, everybody? Say what's up in the chat. I am Mike Worth in the studio. What's up, the glorious studio? And uh, we're getting some work done here. I recently sold a, uh, one of my Sawara cactuses, one of these uh, you know, big stand-up upright armed cactuses. And uh, it now needs a replacement. And because uh, the place that had it was like, yo, we miss our cactus. So that's good. I'm, I'm excited about that. It, it became a mainstay. <laughs> but yeah, um, shout to the person who was very like steadfast about finding out uh, who I was and then getting their hands on this piece. I was like, yo, that's a serious collector right there. That's somebody who is really excited about what I'm doing. So I love that energy. You know, those people are the best. They, they make why we do this, why we do this. Dope. Okay. Maybe like one or two right down here. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So I, I can see this already. I know where this is going. And I think that's going to become apparent to all y'all like real quick. So now I can take this green bottle and I can, I can put this down, right? That's, I don't need that anymore. Um, and the next color, I'll, I'll still come back in obviously to touch it up, fix it, all that stuff and everything. Um, y'all say what's up in the chat. Hey, hey, if you're, uh, if you're joining us and you are just checking out the channel for today, say what's up. We're, uh, we're rocking and rolling. We have uh, always our one consistent viewer. You're an amazing person. I totally appreciate you. I mean, you're on at 7 something in the morning here, <laughs> uh, Eastern time. This could be like a normal time elsewhere. So, you know, much respect to you rocking and rolling with me this early. All right, so this, this is looking good. I can get that color on there real nice. And this will be a nice step uh, coming off of, of uh, that. All right, and I can see, uh, because I've had this ink now in this bottle for a little while, the, it sometimes does this. It'll like retreat and, uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's kind of awful. Here, let's see if I can get that close up so you guys can see. There it is. It's, it's retreating, right? It kind of like squishes back. And uh, we want to fix that. We want to make sure that this ink is smooth and moving around and doing what it needs to do. So here, I'm just going to off-camera test here real quick. I'm just flooding this marker. It could be that like the, the tip gets a little old. All right. And what it means, though, is just that like we'll probably have to hit the spots a couple times but here we go I'm laying it in yeah oh that's terrible oh yeah yeah all right we might not use this one sometimes y'all this sometimes this ink like it gets where this surface will resist it and make that beading you know the green did great the green is our hero but man turquoise turquoise what happened today turquoise i don't know you were just like supposed to be our gem and you didn't come through so we're going to skip over now to this color which is like i know it looks so much closer to that but it is a light blue this color tends to separate in the bottle a lot but this is all here i'll show you all get it this is molotow ink and this stuff is great if you've never ever used this stuff before it's by montana and yeah montana makes this uh, acrylic ink product here we go sorry it's upside down but these are their like paint refills for their markers and it's real good these are these are about 20 bucks a pop but they are so absolutely worth it so montana you get uh, 180 milliliters of ink i know it doesn't seem like a lot but it goes a long way and the thing about this stuff is that it is it is one shot it is like whoop and it's down you don't have to hit it six times you don't have to go over it again none of that folks none of that this stuff is bomb so again using the tester. All right, this is flowing nicely. My turquoise was a little suspect when it first came out. So here, let's see. Oh yeah. All right, so that's what I'm talking about is like this is that this is that one shot uh, stuff here, which is pretty awesome. Now I gotta tell you, I really wish I had that turquoise, but we're gonna make this work. We're gonna do like a three color cactus 
this time. So I'll let these turquoise spots dry, but then I am going to come back in and then hit them with the blue, and that's going to really make the, the magic occur. But I think y'all can see already, like we're already starting to, let me just fix the focus of this real fast. We're already starting to get a, uh, how is that? Blurry. Ah, too blurry. We're already starting to get like a, a three-dimensional look to this which is really great. That's what we really, really want. And uh, y'all, I, I have to apologize for like my terrible production. Oh my God, it's so blurry, y'all. This is just insane. Okay, better, better, ha ha. All right, so let's keep going on this. We wanna get this, uh, this blue to start flowing in here. And you know, I might, I might just, I like to do these little round spots where the patterns coalesce and fuse together. Um, I call these like, like little whirlpools, like ri river eddies, right? If you've ever been out on a river before, you've seen a little whirlpool form around a rock, right? Like that's uh, that resistance, that little that little boulder there is forcing water to go in a different direction, and the particles, the molecules of the water, are stacking on top of each other, and it's creating force, right? And that's the eddy, that's that little whirlpool spinner thing that you get going on there. So you see with this pen and the fact that it's like a one shot hit means that like I'm gonna get this done pretty quick. You know if I was spray painting it'd be even quicker but this is a tight space so I don't know if I really want to try and spray paint here. Uh, you know spray paints wide and broad and the brush is really big so uh, like the size of the tip and uh, you can go skinnier but yeah with this I like that I have now the control of this bottle, right? And like it lays down the paint the way that I want it to go. So I'm super stoked on that. What's up everybody? Yo, if you're just with us, well, I have two people. Oh my God, two people today. <laughs> Amazing. We've been, uh, we've been in here talking to nobody and that's been all right because we're making good work and sharing the good, the good tips and tricks. So if you're just with us today, um, we're starting on this big canvas here and I'm working on the floor because this stuff has a tendency to drip. Um, these markers are essentially a sponge with a, just a reservoir, right? Like a marker would be. And uh, yeah, when you squeeze it, it rushes out. There's like a tiny little valve in the tip here and like that's it. So if, you're, if you don't go uh, gingerly, then this thing is like likely to explode on you and drip. Uh, in fact, like the, the graffiti version of this is called a drip stick. So, yeah, you know, it's like peanut butter and jelly. There's a lot in the name. Okay. All right. I think I'm a chill on this one, this bottle. So color one, color two. And now we're going to come in with this purple, right? Which really, it looks super dark, but it's really like a lilac. It's real nice, right? This stuff separates in the bottle like all the time. It's always coming apart in the space. So yeah, if, you're, uh, if you're new to working with acrylic ink, it's awesome, but can be terrible, volatile. Sweet. All right, here we go. We're gonna lay down this uh, lilac now. And uh, oh, I gotta mix it up because it's, it's gotta get brighter. And I hope this is the right lilac. Did somebody slip the wrong lilac in my bag? No, this is it. Yeah, this is the lilac. Mm, lilac light. Yeah, okay. Let's reach over here, just test this guy. Yeah, you're super dark. Hmm, is this the correct lilac? I gotta make sure before I proceed. Let's see, this one is Shock lilac. There should be a shock lilac light. Shock lilac. Yeah, there sure is. Hmm. You know, I certainly, certainly wonder where that might be. This is lilac pastel. All right, this is the, that's more the color that I want. I'm really excited to get like a pastel color. All right, let's, let's keep looking here. Let's see what we can find because I'm worried, I'm so worried that that purple is just gonna be so dark that it's just gonna be like a waste. And then y'all are gonna be like, Mike, what did you exactly do here? Because my eyes are bleeding. 
And I don't want to do that. I want to make sure that this looks gorgeous. So I'm just rummaging through some markers here right quick. I have a, I have a little bag of tricks here. That's good. I got to see if I can really locate this color. And, uh, bummer, dude. Yeah, I guess maybe not. I thought for sure, for sure, for sure I had it. Okay, well, we could do something just like crazy. You guys up for something crazy? Let's try it. I could make a new lilac bottle right now. That could be, yeah, why don't we do that? Let's make a lilac bottle right now because I've got, I've got the topper here and I've got a blank bottle. And I get these things off of Amazon. They are really wonderful op, uh, I'm just gonna say machines, but they're not machines, they are apparatus. And here, where are you? Shock pink, shock lilac, here it is, okay. Dope. Okay, so let's make a bottle. We're gonna go through that, that process right quick because that lilac there is just, it's so strong. It's gonna just, it's not gonna do what we need to do, okay? All right, so we got some of this uh, Molotow ink here, right? Um, this is a different company. This is Molotow. The other one I showed you was Montana. So there's two different companies uh, and there's actually a couple of Montana named companies. Um, and, you know, there's French Montana, <laughs> the rapper. So, um, yeah, this is uh, Molotow, which is uh, one company. But, uh, yeah, the Montana story is in graffiti. There was once uh, two companies, or one company, that was a uh, Montana brand. And they were uh, uh, Montana, and they have gold, which is from Germany. And then they have Montana 94, and hardcore and stuff, which is from MTN, which is from Spain, okay? And it was these two companies that both had the name Montana, but nonetheless, it didn't, uh, it didn't become a full, full thing. Okay. I'm also, like, half hoping that, like, maybe that, that uh, will dry, that lilac will dry and be, like, something miraculous. Um, we'll have to see. But let's finish making this bottle. I was going to half... Uh, grab my regular shock lilac and then like bloop, drop it in and make it into a thing so all right I got the bottle here I poured some ink in and now I'm gonna affix the little topper thing okay and that just goes in real nice you can feel there's a valve and then we'll flood this to get this going with ink right the ink's all mixed up um, I usually have glass beads uh, to put in but I don't so that glass bead helps the ink like stay really flowy and nice, okay? All right, so this is looking real good now. It's very light, so we're gonna just see how it goes. I wasn't like stoked on, uh, yeah. All right, I'm cool with this. You know, for the purposes of demonstration today, the, uh, the turquoise like just kind of failed on us, so I was uh, a little bit bummed by that, but that's okay. All right, so you can see now we're starting to make the, the outer band part of the cactus. I'll move this in place so you all can see what's going on. All right, and I just, again, I love this one shot. It's just so nice. Yeah, unfortunately that purple is so dark, but this is also quite light. It feels really more like a pink than it does a, uh, a lilac even though like I can clearly see the lilac purple through the bottle it's just not like doesn't have that same oomph that I'm hoping for from you know a lilac yeah I guess so I guess so it's looking good I mean what do y'all think like if you're with us and you're in the chat it, terrible like I what do you think about this lilac I think uh, I think it's a good one Dope. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna let that little that other purple spot dry. I'm not gonna push it yet You know same with those turquoise. You just want to let everything dry You know, we're clearly making a different decision With the piece so we're gonna just not act impulsively and fix it now We're gonna wait two seconds Let the stuff dry like ten minutes and then we can jump back in and start to think about like where it's gonna go 
but just you know keep in mind sometimes like on a piece if i'm like yo i gotta pause on this and think about it i will um i'll add uh i'll write it down right i'll just take notes and i'll just like put down real quick like what it is that i want to do so that way when i come back to the studio and my mind is fresh you know i went to like a different uh, creative space with my mind and then when i come back i'm like wait what was i doing again and I'm, you know, I'm hoping to feel that same dopamine effect of, man, I got a great creative idea here. What am I going to do? So that, um, that's something that I, I really want to make sure that I keep notes of because, man, I'm going to forget. I'm going to forget. I'm, I'm, I'm getting old now, so the memory ain't what it used to be. Dope. Okay, so we're... We're laying all this stuff in, and then like clearly there's some other spots I got to go in and touch up. But man, oh man, this is like really starting to come together super nice. And we got this saguaro cactus. I know it's laying down in an awkward way, and you're probably wondering like, huh? I wonder maybe what that is—a funky submarine, perhaps. But nope, it is a saguaro cactus. And uh, very excited to be making this with you guys. All right, playing around with this scene that we have here okay let's get some the green in here so the green is like my highlight that's why i'm putting it here on the the arms the arm part because when it picks up light you know that's how it's gonna shine and show cool blue 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 where you at blue okay so here's more blue What's up, what's up, everybody? Hope everybody's doing okay this morning. We're having a, a little switch up. We're working in the studio. We're doing some IRL art today. And uh, yeah, we're just, we're flexing with you guys on this piece here, this uh, really wonderful cactus piece. I'm excited to uh, keep working on this and then get this into uh, a place. So uh, the one that I had previously that I did, it sold. So that's great. So now I need I need new I need new cactus in the new cactus product in the space where I once sold the other one. So they were nice enough to ho uh, holler and say, "Yo, we love the stuff. Let's do it." Okay. Cool. And then the last bit here, we're gonna get the new lilac bottle. Sweet. Okay. Dope. And you see how this like forms this really exciting kind of meshy skin around the whole the whole jam, right? And now even on the camera, I can look at it and see like, well, what parts are, are doing well and what parts are not. So y'all welcome. We are rocking and rolling here. We're laying down some really fun stuff here on the, on this cactus. And uh, yeah, just starting to think about kind of where it's going to go what's going on we just laid in this uh all this flow field pattern and everything like that and i got a couple of spots i want to let dry and just you know give it a chance to do what it's going to do but yeah this is going to be a fantastic fantastic piece so dope i got that done pretty quick which was real nice i'm waiting for this goober here to dry and then that way we can kind of figure out what's going to happen with the rest of this um, okay so at this point then what I like to do is I'm gonna let those pieces dry and I'm gonna pull in some of the markers that I'm working with here and try to get colors that are gonna be uh, close to like what I'm working with so I don't know how close that's gonna be but it's a probably close enough green and then let's see yeah cool I've got a nice lilac marker right here so those those three pieces right there are going to really do what we need them to do, which is really fantastic. And then this is where now uh, I go down in size, right, for the marker. And I start to think about, let me see here. Do I have like a light green? It would be phenomenal if I had a light green because this green is not the lightest. Ooh, yes. Ha, 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 ha. Great. All right. I got this Molotow marker, which is fantastic. Yeah, cool. And then you'll see here. I can do my little my little prickers. Ooh, man, this ink too. What is it? 
you gotta keep these things fresh because like when they don't when you don't have them in use for a while they start to lose a little bit of their their sticking power so i'm just trying to like spread this confidently all right and then what i want to do is i want to keep these these stickers these spines right in the green area so that way i can uh yeah something about some of these spray colors like they just it's their base like whatever base is used in some of the dark colors i i get problems sometimes the ink like doesn't want to sit so not all things are compatible and created equal unfortunately but okay and i'm just doing little little wisps right little little flicks and wicks of like what's what's going on here let me see if there's something i could put this up on now that we're past the the drippy part right we don't need to necessarily be down, but oh, I'd have to stop the whole stream and move everything. So I'm just gonna proceed here as best we can with this cactus. All right, so oh. Let's get all these in here. Okay, feeling good about that. Next, uh, blue. Right, the couple, two, three spots that have blue that stick out. I'm gonna do that. And the important thing with some of these colors is that like, you don't wanna just have them stay in their area, but like have them stick out into the other color area so that you can notice them. So whenever I do flick this blue, you know, I'm not trying to make it stick out the side of the cactus, but fly into some of the lilac and into the, the green, right? And even the dark blue negative space of the cactus. Uh, so that way, yeah, it feels like it's in place. And it's interesting, right? The whole point of this is that like, I wanna do the most that I can with the colors that I have. So I'm gonna make it so that there's like, little and big interactions of all this of all this color and that is that right that's like when you drag in have colors cross each other overlap uh, in fun ways it just adds variety you know the whole thing is adding variety to like what we have going on here and if we can make that happen well then we're on our way to success Okay, just simple, simple rules I like to keep as I'm working. It just makes it so that like stuff really can stay consistent like throughout the entire, the entire bit here, All right? The whole jam. So you can see I did that layer of like the, the dauber bottle, which gives me like, you know, a 16th, excuse me, uh, maybe a quarter of an inch of of a uh, color and then I want this little centimeters width, two three centimeters width of color um, with the blue right or with the marker rather the marker lets me go from because I got the spray paint size then I got the marker size and then I have the tiny marker size so that one two three step of size there gives me now depth dimension right it sets a hierarchy of, of weight of, uh, of line, right? Is that like, that's the important part is that I'm reinforcing hierarchy in my design. And that's cool. That's what gives it like a, you know, the interest to look at. It's not just uh, like, oh, nice cactus, Mike. So someone did buy the other one. I was super excited. Uh, I'm gonna put this one back up for sale as well. And uh, yeah, the other one was, was uh, I had done that one a while ago. So it was different technique, different thinking. I'm putting these dots in here because sometimes the prickers when you can't, they're, they're pointing right at you. So 
you can't see them. And I'm just looking for negative spaces here that I could hit with these blue dots. I'll do the same thing with the, um, it's just moving color around. I'll do the same thing with the green and then the lilac, but I just want to get this, just thought of it, so. I mean, sometimes these spines, like, they, they're pointing right at you and they look super thin, but when you see them from the side, you know, they're long and spiny. And this, uh, this is not, this is pointed and short. Sweet. So this has like its own, own feeling now, aside from, you know, the underpainting. Let's see. All right, it's looking good. Oh yeah, yeah, wow, that ink is, okay. Yeah, this lilac pen hasn't been used in a while. Shake it, don't break it. Shake it, don't break it. There we go. Okay, so a little tap, tap, just get that tip. There's like a lot of blue in this, so I'm worried, yeah. That's the kind of lilac that I really, really wanted. It's, it's very purpley, but I feel like the lilac that I have here is just way too light. Sometimes these colors are like amazingly spot on. They're like everything I've dreamed of in, in color and more. And then sometimes it's like, eh, what were we all thinking? Why, where's this step or where's this color? Because with these markers, it's not uh, unlimited colors. You get a finite set of colors. And there's quite a bit, you know, it's not that I'm saying that there's an underwhelming amount of color. It's just, if you don't have the color that you need, it seems like nothing can help you in that moment. But, okay, same deal now. I'm gonna have these purple spines running into the Yeah, this pink side, or lilac side, it's, it's appearing pink to me somehow, is, uh, yeah. So I wanna do same, same thing where I'm, you know, pushing stuff into the other side. Yeah, that purple isn't gonna dry the color we need, unfortunately. It is not what we need. So this is working fine. I'm, uh, Come in, do the same technique as before, where I'm crossing color areas with uh, the purple, right? Just so this thing feels cohesive and strong, like it's a big plant, you know? It's one unit. Cool. Yeah, we'll get that mixed up in there. Okay, and then like we said, we are gonna add the uh, green as well in the dot, the dot pattern. That's nice. This guy still isn't dry. I'm waiting, waiting, waiting <laughs> hard for that one. Please dry, please. Yeah, this marker's seen better days. I think I've used it to like draw on the uh, rough walls and stuff. And I think the tip has just lost its, its uh, luster. So I've been having fun doing these on the iPad. I appreciate y'all coming and watching the iPad streams. You know, mostly my work is uh, by hand. Um, the only digital work I, I was doing before, unless it was graphic design, would be like a, a projection. You know, it would be like an interactive installation. Um, so, yeah, I hadn't, I hadn't jumped into the iPad world yet, but man, I see how amazing it is for production. That just, that just takes it up a level for me. So, yeah, I've been enjoying doing those, and I appreciate you guys coming and checking them out. You know, the, <clears throat> the stream is... It's important. Uh, I've been a teacher a long time, and 
uh, got a lot of art lessons and excited to share with you. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. So one quick thing we want to do is just make sure that this computer has power. There we go. Hey, all right. Cool, cool, cool. So hopefully our, our stream rate is keeping up and doing what it needs to do. Welcome, 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 everybody. We just laid down like a ton of, of uh, close-up stuff. And oh, man, it's just a lot, a lot, a lot. So we're doing this, uh, this big old cactus here, having fun making this, uh, this occur. So I'm liking really where this is going so far. I think maybe what we'll do, let's see here if I can get this set up here. Maybe we'll do a little, little switcheroo, a little switcheroo here and see if we can get this thing up onto a, a easel now. And then I could do a little bit of spray paint work. Um, I really love how so many folks are doing great things on Twitch with, uh, with digital work. And uh, it's fantastic. You know, it's so easy. But it's like getting out here and doing this actual IRL. I mean, that's, that's exciting. So, all right, let's see what we can, we can get going here. All right. So here we are in the mix. Okay. Sorry, I just need to be able to see y'all with what's going on. Okay. Let's make sure that that's where it needs to be. So what's up, what's up, what's up? Yeah, we might even then do this. Let's just say, uh, ha ha ha, we're, we're just playing around here. Y'all don't need to see that side window anymore because it's just me. Ah! <laughs> We're just going crazy here, moving around all this OBS. Okay, so here we are. And uh, get this a little closer so you guys can see the piece as it's working right now. We're really excited. And um, I want to focus on this, this bottom area here because that's going to give us the ability to, to see, you know, what's, uh, what's going on there. So, all right. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Y'all, we, uh, we are rocking and rolling. I'm going to do some, some control on this area down here and uh, see if we could, we could make that work. All right. Good, good deal. Okay. I think we got the stream kind of back, back in action here, which is great. All right. So I'm excited to use... Let's see, I got this Montana 94, or uh, Montana Gold. You can see NC Acrylic. Uh, this is Ultramarine. This is the stuff that I really, I really like to use. And then the cap that I have on here, this is called a Lego cap. And uh, it looks like a little Lego head, so it kind of earned its name uh, like that. And uh, it's a really, really great tool. So this stuff you can get online or at an art store. Um, Depends on where you live. It might be like everywhere or it might be nowhere. So you gotta, you gotta check it out. Shake it up. Shake it, shake it, shake it. It's really important that you shake your cans. Okay. Just testing it out real quick. And then, uh, yep, looking at the side and I can tell, haha, good, this is my color. I just wanted to make sure before I commit to it because <laughs> it could go wrong. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is this thing is just sitting kind of blunt on the floor, right? So what I want to do here is I want to like kind of spray a little bit of a ground, right? Like kind of act as if there's like a, a ground in the space. So we want to just kind of start here and start to flow out each way. So just lightly too, we don't want to go crazy. But as you can see, I'm moving the can as I spray. And like that's the important part is to just move that like while you're while you're laying it down, okay? 
And this is like, this works the same way as it does like on Photoshop, you know? And yes, I'm covering these things. It's okay. Um, I want to, um, actually, I want to do this even. I'm going to push this out. Here, watch this. I'm going to use here. I need a cut card. Cut card. So a cut card is going to be like a little piece of something that I'll use to just block um, the, uh, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to put this like right here. And this is going to be like a cut card so I can, okay. So went up a little high. But what I'm doing here is I want to have the, the background kind of wrap the cactus some so it feels like the cactus is like on the ground, right? I'll fix those edges, those spines as they come out. It's fine. Okay, just want to match the other side. Dope. Okay, I don't want that to stick too much, but you can see now I've got the, the item is like wrapped in the space. So if we back this dude up, you'll see in greater hmm. see how that goes there yeah there it is so that's the whole that's the whole jam right as it's laid out and now we have this background uh, piece here that like really helps it kind of set up as a as a three-dimensional item I'm gonna spray a little more here just to help with that horizon just to help define it. That's really what I want to do. And I'm spraying on an angle like this. It's really important that like I uh, spray like on this, because if you spray directly, you get a perfect cone, right? As it sprays out, but when you push it this way, the cone gets pushed against the wall and that's going to be hard edge paint. So like, that's the thing you want to know is that when you tilt the cone about how it's going, you, you can push it towards hard edge paint. Um, cool. Okay. So I like where this is going. Once this part dries, I'm going to add a couple more of those flex and then just little things to help us kind of, you know, have it be understood that it's a cactus from the ground. I might even like do something like this, like spray on an angle like this here. Watch I'll show you. Yeah. Cool. And that just adds a, a soft fade up with the way that it like comes up from the side. So yes, yes, yes. Right. We're rocking this, uh, this cactus here. It's going pretty good so far. Um, y'all, if you're joining the stream and, and you're checking us out, say, uh, say a quick, what's up. We're, uh, we're trying a little IRL today just to see how it goes. And, uh, I guess so far so good rock and roll. All right. So let's see, thinking about this more, thinking about this more. I still have to fix this guy. Yeah, that never dried the way I wanted it to. I, I was hoping, like praying, that it would show up and be like a really nice lilac. But in this case, it did not. It did not manifest. So my thought is that I'm going to um, add some of that dark lilac to this and see if I can't get this to be, you know, really like a nice medium of what I was hoping for earlier. I'm just hoping, praying maybe. So, okay. So in other words, like take these two colors and then make like a happy medium. You know, I got the ultra purple and then the light purple and I need to make like a middle purple. Where are you middle purple? You're, you're elusive. All right. Um, let's see. That's still wet. So just give that a second to dry. That's the wonderful thing about spray paint is that it, it dries pretty damn quick. One thing that I usually do that I didn't in this project is I like to add shadow behind this to help separate like these two patterns, but I didn't this time. It's, you know, it's all right. Um, okay. We're going to also now, Ooh, this is a real thin one. Where the heck did I get this Posca pen from? I'm not even sure. I got a random Posca pen that I was given here. Okay. So let's get this a little closer. I'm just tethered by this, uh, this computer here. Here, I'll bring this in closer. I don't need to mess with this anymore. I can, because it's all here. I can see. 
All right. So in this space now, I want to create like really a, uh, a moon, right? And I'm just going to, right now, just with the, there we go. And I set up, I don't know if you can see, but I set up the flow field to like really act as like my, my space there, my uh, guide, you know, if you will. So I'm just going to put in the details for the moon. This is a really, really tiny pen. Um, there we go. This millimeter is a little thicker. This one is the uh, 2.5 millimeter. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I'll stack these somewhat just because they'll start to get dense. Okay. All right. And there's the there's the moon space going on in there. Pretty cool. Let's fix this up so we can see like the other spots. We're gonna put a I'm gonna put a little star right here. Oh man. I have my uh flow field brush in procreate and that gets that done pretty quick now i'm like oh i gotta do this by hand oh yeah yeah but it's all good love it love going back and forth between the two really makes it so that like it's a uh, you know a different world to be creative in okay and then we'll do one more down here right so compositionally we're working with where we got the moon. We got the the star here. We'll do the other star here, and then we'll do one down here, right? And that'll that'll make a, that'll make this feel like a like a real a real thing. All right. Hello, friends. We're just fixing our production stuff here. You know, all good, all good. IRL is serious. Uh, no studio here. Just just an art studio. No no production studio. Okay. Yeah yeah yeah. All right. We'll get the stars going there. Pretty dope. Okay. We'll. Uh, we're going to get a little pretzel pretzel rocks in here. I realize it's so quiet in here. So we want to want to hear a little little chill hop. Let's see what we got. Okay. Okay. Let's switch it over to be the MacBook Pro speakers. Here we go. All right. There we go. Yeah. Okay. All right. That might be hiccuping the stream here. So... We're going to hold the stream tight. <clears throat> My bad, y'all. See? I got adventurous with the music. Should have chilled on it. Ugh. It's all right. Okay. Um, we are doing really good here. We're, uh, we're in the hunt right now. I just want to see real quick. Hang tight. Hang tight. I'm going to get a yellow spray uh, paint can real quick. One second. Alright, I got it. I got it now. 
now. <clears throat> I got the other kind of Montana, which is right here. This is uh, Montana 94, right? So this is the other kind. This is from Spain, this, uh, this company. It's sold all over the world now, but um, yeah. Back in the day, used to be able to only uh, import it and all that. That was before my time. But now, 94 is here. It's, it's like, you can buy it in Sherwin-Williams now, in some of them. Kind of amazing. Okay, so I want to do this really lightly. I don't want to, like, kill my, my, uh, my star here. So I'm just going to use this as, like, a little bit of protection. Okay, and then I just want to... Yep. Here we go. In fact, I don't even want to do more than that. <laughs> just one spritz does it. Got to be good with the spritz. I'm using the Lego cap. Okay, and that just adds like a soft burst around the star, which is real nice. Do a couple on that one. Okay, cool. All right, and you can see now I've got the, the soft spots in the space. And that plus the marker is what is going to give me, you know, all this. So if you've watched any of my, my tutorials, right, I'm constantly talking about like doing this digitally. And now we've got it happening analog with the spray paint, which is pretty fresh, right? You can see these, these little stars here. Real, real nice. Okay. Dope. Dope. All right. So this is coming along nicely. Um, oh, one thing I did want to do also is again with the with the cut card but i want to use a longer cut card this time like this nice big piece of of cut cardboard haha -ha. and what i want to do is i actually want to kind of help put in some shadow in this thing so i'll show you what i mean pull that piece off here let's get this side because it's a clean a cleaner edge so all right let's see I'm gonna bring this in, push it in just slightly, and then I'm gonna be spraying like this, like just a, a touch, because I wanna give this some dimension. Okay, so here, let me just make sure I'm doing the right thing. Okay. Cool. Okay, I don't know if you all can see, but like I just added now like some, some side spray like I'm spraying this and I'm letting it I'm letting it fly over to the side. That's like exactly what I want. That that kind of control. Do it on this side. Sorry, I like to really think about my stroke before I do it. So if you see me doing this 3 4 times before I actually spray, my bad. Just want to make sure I don't mess up. So that's the uh, that's the routine here. In case you're wondering. Okay, let's see. Uh, okay, really good. Sweet. All right, this is starting to shape up like nicely. So, okay, under part, we'll do this under part real quick here. Dope. And then we'll do the under part here with the arm. Sweet. Okay. So this is, this is heavy, right? This is like an opaque paint. So it's going to go on top nicely. But, you know, just the dusting, just the little bit of dusting is what really, like, makes this thing do what it needs to do. So we've, we've done some good things here already, really good things. Okay. So we got yellow and uh, yellow marker here. I'm digging through my box just to see, like, if there's anything else I want to grab and use and do. But here, we'll come in and we'll re- re-up the shine on these. Let me, let me tap this out, punch this up, give it some juice. That's the whole thing is you want to give these colors some juice. There we go. And I'm touching up, like touching some of the other areas that have had yellow because essentially this is like a an additional 20% of yellow will stack up on, on this. OK. 
Okay. Good, good, good. All right, I'm liking this, I'm liking this. So all these little pieces and things are starting to really come together. You know, we back this up some, we'll see the uh, good portion of the whole product. It tilt this down, you get more of it. You can see we got that bottom part to still work with. And then the, the top there, that's, uh, that's working out nice. So, so far so good. All right, um, all right, I'm gonna take some blue, and I'm gonna sit to do this. Okay, and then we're gonna use the blue as if the, you know, the sun or the moonlight is hitting the ground, and that's gonna make, you know, some little grass things stick up and out and everything. Oh, I do need to fix, make sure I do that first. All right, since I've now, like pushed all this blue onto the uh, area in the scene. This color will sit up nicely now in a different way when it's on dark blue. I really like that is that I can kind of supercharge the colors again by uh, yeah by putting them putting shading blue dark blue on the stuff. It really helps. Get the green. Here's the green. What's up, friends? How is everybody doing today? I am Mike Worth. Say what's up in the chat. Would love to know who you are. Interact with you. Say hello. Um, as we're we're streaming today, it's a good day. This is our normal Wednesday, so welcome. Um, this is Mike Worth, and we are IRL today, and we're working on this big old canvas. We are in the glorious studio, and uh, making it happen. Okay. Oh, uh, I have a different blue marker that is just slightly darker than this. And the reason is, you know, I've already used the light blue as the, the spines on there. Here we are. You were hiding. Okay, we got this one now. This blue marker is going to work out. Yeah, that'll be our, our marker for like the background here. Uh, gosh, I almost wish I hadn't done these marks now but all good. Right, and it's like, there would be a little definition in this space. We would be able to see like what that is. So we're gonna bring that out. It, it would need to be this darker blue. Like that's, that's like really, really what it would be. So, and I'm gonna like outline this, uh, you know, put little, little somethings in here. These blue spines will look good on the side. Yeah. Cool. Dope. All right. And uh, I'm not sure, like, sometimes I put some stuff down here. You know, I'm not sure, like, what what all we could do with that. Like, that would be uh, that'd be interesting. You know, we got the, the, the moon up there already. You know, we got all these things going on here. It's like a lot, a lot happening. So I like to add in an element, you know, that'll take my stuff to the next level. Get the white in here. Just to give these stars a little intensity, you know, as I'm laying them down. Go. 
Yeah, cool. All right, so we just added a little bit of intensity to that. Um, we're taking some nice shape here. And uh, yeah, I'm just thinking about like what, what maybe we could do down in this area, you know, that would help it out some. bringing out that a little bit and then uh, we'll let this dry up nice and um, do its thing so we can start to set up I still don't have a plan yet for for what we're gonna do down in this uh, this little area here I'm not I'm not really sure at all I'm not sure you guys got any ideas what what could we do maybe drop in the in the chat like what what could we do here that would make this this interesting, you know. Yo, I got this one one viewer. <laughs> um, whoever you are, say hello. It'd be so nice to know who you are and, and say what's up. That's a that's a good thing. That'll maybe help us figure out what are we gonna do with this. <laughs> How are we gonna make this thing work? All right, all right. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Um, hmm. What can I do here without having to flip the whole thing and move it all around? Like that's the that's the hard part. It's like what can I draw down here in the space? Hmm. Let's see. Could I could I do? Hmm. Yeah, I I I'm I'm drawing a blank. This this is hard. Man, ideas, 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 ideas. Like what is it that's going to be the magic, the money? That's just going to come in in handy right now. Um, all right, I got I got kind of a funky idea. Let's let's try something. I think it'll work in this way. We're going to bring in like a brand new color. Okay. Oh man, chewed up. That got chewed up. This pink. Bummer, man. Okay. Then we'll use spray. You got to hang for a sec so I can get spray. Okay, okay, okay. So, um, I got this color here called Bone, and I thought, why not make like a skull or something fun? So, we're going to make a skull here, and uh, I'm just going to spray a little, just need a little, little background shadow there. So, I extended this area to be like down into the space. So, that's there. Really good. And, uh, yeah, we want to now try and paint like a skull so i'm going to use this uh this this lego cap again here because it's getting dirty but it's a really good one because it really lets me get like good control and if you want to keep rolling with caps you know as you're working and starting to just keep a little cloth um, i like to have a little alcohol on the cloth and you know just wipe the the end the paint likes to once it sticks on the end, it likes to build like a build a, a whole buildup of, of space and or of paint space. It's awful. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. What kind of skull can we do here? Um, let's try like a little cut card skull. Let's see if we can. Let's do this. You ready? Okay. So we got that little kind of fun thing there, and then we're gonna do. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> Cause you're wondering what on earth is that, Mike? <clears throat> I'm just from my head, just trying to come up with like a like a cow skull type thing. So, here, watch. We'll do. <laughs> Some teeth. <laughs> Fun. 
All right, and if I play with like some of the And then let's add like a tiny little Yeah, dope. Okay, and we'll cover that, that part back up. Sweet. Okay. So I, I yeah, I'm not I'm not the best uh, anatomy person here, but you know, good enough. I, I've sort of got the, the basics of the skull happening here. So yeah, I won't, I won't play with that too much more. Yeah, it's a little nose thing there. So I want that to be soft. Sweet. All right. So I got this nice uh, little skull going on. Just, just drew it off the dome. Just didn't really have a plan for where that was going to really go. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited about it. What I will do is, you know, I'll spend a little time like just kind of softening it, shading it, just making sure it's doing what it needs to do as far as looking three dimensional and you know good for the the space type of thing, and that's that's good. That's what I want to do. But you know, I can pop in here now. Oh, that's too bright. We got to make sure we have our darker blue marker. So now I can uh, add this stuff. To, I got to paint that in, but um, I can add in that stuff there now and it really it, it's awesome okay dry dry so there's my skull pumped on it pumped on it and i'll add some stuff here to make it appear as though it's like it's really in the space you know it's really it's ahead of its of its environment okay yep that's good all right using the cut card to take back some of that hard edge or that soft edge rather There we go. Just bring a little bit of that color up just so it now like appears to be, you know, in the space. That's like what, what we're trying to do. Good, good, okay. Excited. So the cut card you see is like a, a real critical item when it comes to spraying. You know, you need to have that thing with you so you can shape all of the, um, the little areas you know you want hard edge and soft edge you, you're taking advantage of both so you want to make sure that that's uh, that's going on there I realized too I, I got to add some some of that shadow here just gives you control you know I mean you're not spraying all at the canvas it some of it's blocked oh, a little hard <coughs> didn't want that sorry ah it's all right we don't live. Cool. All right. So we got the, the skull, right? We're just kind of letting everything and anything really kind of dry and do its thing. And uh, yeah, happy about that. Happy about that for sure. Oh, uh, if I have a, uh, an orange marker, which I do right here, orange is also a great color to add in here. to help build some interest and intensity with these colors. You know, when this yellow and blue mix in space, it forms like a, you know, dark, dark yellow. Uh, uh, deep yellow. cool yeah and I wanted to get some some orange into the piece so now now I have orange like worked into the the whole space and uh, that's good I like to always have like almost every color in my project if I can I know it sounds like whoa chill Mike but no I'm not gonna chill this is uh, this is amazing so okay we are uh, we're still at it here we're rocking Just fixing this up here all right, and uh, 
Yeah, so we have the skeleton now. We've got the moon and stars going on and everything. This is kind of a nice area. I thought about maybe making like a, um, a, uh, a cactus rose up there and uh, allowing that to be like the thing that fills that area. Sorry, a little technical difficulty here. Boom, right up in this space. And I thought that would be a nice balance of it all. But maybe not. Maybe we'll keep it, keep it simple and we'll let this skull, this new skull, like be, be the great thing. All right. Um, skull time. So I need a white marker and a gray one, perhaps. All right. And then let's see. <sighs> yeah, we're still not dry on that one. So we just got to wait a second till it does what it needs to do on the on the dry, the dry scene. Um, Y'all, if you're brand new, checking us out, say what's up. Uh, my name's Mike, and welcome to uh, my stream. We're trying a whole new format today. We're doing in real life. We are in the real life studio. And uh, yeah, I'm working on this cactus piece and uh, just adding a bunch of elements and trying out this brand new thing here, which we're gonna use, and that's the, uh, that's the skull. So very excited about that. We're almost dry, like almost fully dry. So that's a, that's a really wonderful thing. If you're just joining us, say what's up in the chat. Say hello. Let us know where you're, you're coming from, where you're hailing from. We're, uh, we're chilling today in the Mike Worth Art Studio, as you can see, full of beautiful equipment. <laughs> this is where the magic uh, takes place and everything that happens, happens. So good, good, good. All right. I really like that I got all those things in there now. So what I actually can do here to make my, my life easy is I can put some of these little grass bits you know, that we're seeing here now um, to go in front of the skull, right? So I'm doing a, a, a technique, a classic uh, technique for landscape stuff, and that's stacking, right? By putting these little grass blades in front of the skull, I'm making it so that this element now comes forward, right, in the in the space. So, nice. Way to go, Mike. Okay, and even some horizontal lines here will help, you know, kind of establish that this is a a space, right? We don't want that to just be nothing, so. All right, feeling good, feeling good. Okay, so now I use bone on the uh, on the skull as the color, but now I'm using white to help like define some of the the top air. Oh, not not dry. <laughs> Bummer, man. <laughs> it's all good. We'll fix it. There we go. All right, so just by adding the, the white on here, I'm, I'm really unsure of the detail, so I'm just I'm trying to like base it off what I know. <laughs> Let these teeth kind of be somewhat interesting. Cool. All right, um, y'all, it's super light what I'm doing here. I apologize. That's not something that's like mega bright and viewable and visible. So it's not something you're going to see 100%, but it looks good. <laughs> it looks crazy good. Okay. Just want to get the, right. This, this cow died of dehydration somewhere in the desert there. So, um, may it, Rest in peace. Okay, looking at things. Let's see, I, I think we're like really, we're at a really good place to think about like calling this a wrap. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Let's see. Uh, oh, there's my pink pen. I gotta go get my pink marker. That is essential for this. So that when we sign the work, all right, it is official. Okay.
Heck yeah. Boom. Mem. 21. All right, friends. Well, let's do a little, little backup grand reveal here of the whole piece. Very, very exciting. And dun, 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 dun. cool. All right, we'll lean it forward to get it out of that flash light a little bit. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. So we'll uh, we'll detach here. And you guys are coming with. Here we go. I'm coming with. Okay. So let's check out some of these details here. And uh, right, we can see we got the, the moon there going on. And all this stuff. I mean, there's so much detail in this piece now. I mean, it's kind of kind of nuts. Look at that. All that color, all that stuff going on there. That's beautiful. Lots of fun, lots of fun. All right, and then down to the ground, which we didn't have a chance to really look at before, but like there, there's that skull, right? I painted it in a way so like, you know, I would add heavier tones to the top or uh, heavier paint to the top so it would feel like it's uh, brighter, like there's light actually on it and then uh, did some stuff on the bottom. And then like I said before was I added these little strokes so it felt like there's stacking going on in there, right? And I did the same thing, just like playing with overlaying darker tones on the space. You know, this was ju really just, just to make that that'll occur right so beautifully so that's it Woo! all right y'all we did it we did it we did it we did it very excited so thank you guys for uh for joining me for the stream today uh thank you guys for coming into the the irl studio all right here i am with the piece and uh yeah so this is uh Something I'm going to start to do a little bit more often, um, as I have IRL pieces, and uh, you know we're always going to be working in the iPad to keep the the stream going and pushing out new ideas. So y'all, I appreciate you uh, popping in on this. This was a lot of fun to get this whole thing going. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, y'all, say what's up, right? We uh, we've had just a couple people join us in the stream, so make sure that you're saying hello, join in the chat. Uh, ask questions, you know, happy to, happy to do that. You know, otherwise I'm just going to be falling around in the studio, just trying to get some things done, doing what I'm doing. But y'all super appreciate you guys. And uh, yeah, can't wait till next stream. See y'all soon. Peace. <laughs>